that gives you a better sense of the breakout of the law enforcement response. 376 cops total showed up here to the elementary school. Of those, 149, according to the report, were U.S. Border Patrol agents. There were 91 state police, 25 Uvalde City Police, 16 county sheriff's deputies, and five Uvalde School District Police. The rest made up of U.S. Marshals, DEA, and also neighboring county agencies. Surveillance video obtained by the Austin American Statesman newspaper and television station KVU shows the mass of officers gathering in the hallway and the report questions with so many there and the quote lack of a strong incident commander why nobody else with higher rank or with more training didn't step up sooner. We know that the gunman entered Robb Elementary at 1133, but it was not until 1250 until he was taken down. Door locks are another major part of this report, stating that if both the exterior and the classroom doors had been locked as they should have been, it would have slowed the shooter and possibly bought them more time. And while the committee stopped short of saying that this botched response actually cost more lives, the report does say that it's, quote, plausible that some of the victims could have survived if they did not have to wait some 73 minutes before they were rescued. 21 people were killed, 19 children and two teachers. Texas lawmakers say that they will now use the findings of this report to invoke change or if new laws need to be enacted to help prevent something like this from happening again. But one of the other key remarks that have been uh, made over and over today in this press conference, Brian, is that uh, in their investigation of this, uh, they found that some of the security shortfalls here at the school could be applied to schools all around the country and that other districts need to take a close look at their own policies as we get ready to start a new school year. Back to you. Yeah, Casey,